immediate speed with vibrant service, vibrant broadband internet. On your mark, get, get set. set. And go. Go. And go. Hey, thank you for having us, Jeff. Mm-hmm. My name is Shane. I'm Jane. And I'm Bo. And welcome to another Vibrant You Live. You know, Vibrant is all about the user experience. We want to make sure that it's simple and easy for you to use the internet and kind of not even to think about it. But one thing we're going to think about today mm-hmm. is the Vibrant app. I'm getting ready. Yeah. And so the Vibrant app is uh, an app that allows you to control your router. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's you can download it at the Google Play Store. Or you can download it if you have an iOS device on, at the Apple Store. What's an iOS device? And, uh, it's an Apple. It's an device. iPhone. It's an iPhone. Okay. So either an Android or an iPhone, it's available for that. Um, and uh, it's it's for our newest router. Now, there are some people that have the older routers out there, and, and we'll mention that a little bit later. But uh, there's another app that you can use for that that does a lot of the same things. Mm-hmm. But Jane's going to start out with uh, a little story and then go into <laughs> what the Vibrant it's app is. a little story. Yeah. So last week we had talked about smart homes and how we have things, and I mentioned that I was really not a techie person. Well, mm-hmm. I went from a non-smart home of zero to five items in our (laughs) house just like that so saturday night i decided to connect our oven a refrigerator our new washing machine oh boy i i ordered a google thermostat (laughs) and and we also have a new garage door that can control that so so you went from dumb to smart something like that (laughs) yes yes tolerable to (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said i have the i have the vibrant app and mm-hmm. so i'm a lot i go in there and i'm able to look at my devices so yeah. i can look to see um what's connected and if somebody is coming into my house they'll connect i'll see uh, a vibrant a new device has connected to the vibrant internet mm-hmm. and so the app and so those are some really great things um we 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 highly recommend that when you guys get installed that you get our router and this is one of the advantages uh first off you know we'll we'll be able to troubleshoot with you a little better but secondly we're able to help you along the way and get that app set up so you can monitor certain things and uh, get connected so basically it's um and it's it's a private network too right um so in our techs, when they're when they're installing, they go through the app with you, and they'll they'll help you connect, put that app on your phone or on okay. your, on a device too. So but you need your router yes, to do this. Absolutely. Right. Okay. Yes. So and it's pretty basic. It's just like like Shane said, you just download it and then mm-hmm. do your thing. Um, and then so Bo, we're gonna go over what the app does. Yeah, there's quite a few things it can do. The probably the main thing people ask about, um, especially when they're signing up, is can I change this, you know, network name and password? And there's a spot in the app that you can do that. It's super easy to change the name of the Wi-Fi network and the password. You can do it right from the app on your phone. Um, you can also pause Wi-Fi if you have. You know, kids that have a certain bedtime and you want to pause the Wi-Fi for them so they can get some sleep, you can do that. You can prioritize bandwidth for certain things like gaming or streaming. Um, So there's a whole bunch of things you can do. You can even set up a guest network. If you have guests over and just want to set up a specific network for them, that's super easy to do as well. And then it's going to show you all the devices that are connected in the app. So you can see, you know, from your TV to, if in Jane's case, all her new devices. They're going to show up mm-hmm. there now, <laughs> and you can name them. Um, sometimes they have, like, a random name. You can actually name them, you know, vacuum, refrigerator, all those type of things. And then there's also built-in safety features like content filtering, like threat detection, parental controls. So that's a big one we get a lot of questions about. That's all done through the app. Um, You can block any unwanted websites or content. So it just makes it a a lot more easy to use. And the app's really user-friendly, too. So Shane's going to hop into just kind of how to do these things uh, through the app. So one of the cool things it does is it'll do a speed test. So right from the app, there's a button that says speed test. You can click that, and it will run a speed test directly from the router, which is important because 
you f like from your devices to your router that's a different speed than the speed that's being delivered to your home through vibrant so uh you might get 200 megabits per second that's what you're paying for right mm -hmm. and we deliver that consistently actually we deliver above that consistently right and if you think you're having some issues you can run a speed test from here it'll tell you yeah the router is getting 200 and so then you know that maybe the issue is being pin you got you can pinpoint that as a different device maybe it's the roku maybe it's the phone or something you know what's really cool i just hit i went onto that app and hit run my speed test yeah and I got it. I got my speeds. So yeah, you pretty, can do it remotely. Pretty awesome. Yeah, exactly. And that's the so thing. Is have to be there. A lot of these things, you can view your home from your phone, right, remotely. Okay. So yeah. you can keep an eye on things. It'll alert you to whether things are on or off and that kind of thing. Um, like Bo mentioned, you can view the connected devices on your network. And, uh, like, I don't know, I've got... 30. 30 <laughs> plus, right? And... There again, you just, just again. tap on the button that says home network. It'll kind of expand. You can rename those, each mm -hmm. one. I've had to rename about half of them. Half of them, it would recognize what it was. And the other one, it's like, ooh, I wonder what that is. And you kind of got to be a sleuth when you do that. Ooh. It's, it's a, a sleuth. A sleuth. So you got to get the Pink Panther music in the right. background here. <laughs> da -dun, da -dun, there you go. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, then you find out, okay, what is that MAC address? And then you can kind of look, like, say it's a different phone or it's a different device. You kind of got to find that out. But if you're not worried about, ex if you don't want to know exactly what it is, that's fine, too. Um, you can uh, assign devices to people. And so there you would just add a person. So, for example, I've got my wife, and I've assigned her devices and does she know that uh, yeah she knows that <laughs> i hope she knows that uh she's got two devices that that she's been assigned her phone and her ipad um i, I can also shut off the internet on her <laughs> i was just gonna say <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> are, have you ever done that no i have not done that uh, time no, out for did. you chris yeah, <laughs> yeah right my, my, she'd have me swearing I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly so, I mean, that, that's stuff you can do. You can create a guest Wi-Fi and share it, which we do recommend. Mm -hmm. So if you have visitors over or your kids have friends over, you know, give them the password to the guest network. They can get on that. That way you can, you know, just keep, keep your network safe. Um, and then it'll also allow you to reboot your system if things are kind of glitchy. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll allow you to reboot the router anyway and then right from the app. And that takes a little bit of time, comes back online, and then you can see, oh, yeah, that fixed the issue. So that's, that's kind of the cool things it does. Jane's going to dive in a little deeper into what's called Experience IQ, which is kind of an add-on to the app, and it gives you more control mm -hmm. than what I've even talked about. Okay. Right. So there's different layers of protection. And so Experience IQ is uh, an additional layer. It's a second tier. So if you... If you, we have four packages that we offer, and the, the two, the second, third, and fourth one, this will be included in your package. Okay. And so basically, like we've been talking about, it's online gaming, keeping an eye on the social networks, the TikToks, the Facebooks, um, the phone, you know, controlling your devices after certain hours, making sure that you are having a safe, smart home. So these are the restrictions and, uh, it's just basically you can kind of just look at the websites that are available and I think the content is like 14 or older or mm -hmm. X amount and younger that kind of stuff so um, the other cool function of this as well is that there's prioritizing network traffic so Bo's going to go into that a little bit yeah and the network traffic kind of goes into what we were talking about before but if you are working remote, you can actually set like a work mode. And so the network's gonna prioritize your work computer, your any of your devices, maybe your work phone over someone that's, you know, watching YouTube and their Netflix in the next room. And there's different modes. You can do gamer mode, entertainment mode. Um, and then if you wanna make it easier, one thing you can do is just have certain day and time limits. So like maybe Monday through Friday, you know, 8 a.m. to five, you have it on work mode and you can just like set it and forget it. That's uh, prioritizing your network. So if you have a lot of people and you just want to make sure the important things get done first, that's just one thing the app 
uh, can do. And, you know, it's it's nice because a lot of people will call in and ask about these features. And there are sometimes we have a, a, a few older routers if you've been a customer of ours for a while. And we do like to update that so you have access to these. So Shane's going to talk a little bit about the older routers. Yeah, so some of our older routers, um, the routers work awesome, right? And so as technology changes, of course, Vibrant stays on top of that. But um, the older routers are just fine. They work just fine. Mm -hmm. And so if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing, right? If you are having issues with, with your router, we recommend you giving us a call, and then we can troubleshoot that and, uh, you know, upgrade you to a new router if, if needed. Um, but the, the older routers also have an app similar to, to the Vibrant app, and it's called Plume, P-L-U-M-E. And that does much of the same things. Not exactly how the Vibrant does it, but it, it does it a much of the same types of things where it'll uh, detect threats. It'll allow you to you know, set limits, time limits, and things like that. So our routers come with an app that, that do a lot of those things. My previous app, uh, router that I had was a, uh, a Netgear Orbi, and it had an app that went with it as well. But it didn't have all the features. Like, I couldn't set time limits. I could turn on and off uh, internet access to different devices, and I could see all the devices on my network. But it didn't allow me to, like, set time limits or, uh, you know, turn the internet off for these specific devices at 7 o'clock type of thing. So the new app uh, with our, our router, I upgraded to our router here uh, recently because my personal router has, uh, it's pretty old. It kind of, mm -hmm. it's kind of getting tired. And so it wouldn't reach uh, all the areas I wanted it to reach. And uh, because when I, when I did get Vibrant, uh, as soon as we came into Litchfield, um, I chose to keep my original router because I just had it for a couple of years. So I just mm -hmm. kept it. Right. And, uh, but now that it's that old, you know, Vibrant supplies a router. So I got one. Out of curiosity, if you had to replace that router, how much? would it cost? So if I had to replace my router net mesh network with the same one, I priced this out uh, just recently, it would be over $400. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So So you're saving some money to yeah, exactly. with our router. Exactly. Awesome. And then, but you know, some of our, some people do have their own routers and we can troubleshoot up to that router and that's that's right. where we stop. Right. But this this application and having the router, we're able to troubleshoot with them. We'll be able to say, well, I see that your bandwidth on your your phone is this. Um, it's something's wrong. You might need to do an upgrade or an update on that device, that kind yeah. of thing. Our, yeah. Our knock team is even um, troubleshot where, like, somebody's added a new device. Say it's a camera, right? And then all of a sudden their network slows down, and then they can tell, well, it looks like you recently added this device, and it's connected, it's trying to connect to the wrong, uh, there's a, a different um, bandwidth mm -hmm. that it tries to connect to. Mm -hmm. So it can troubleshoot up to that. But right. um, that's all stuff that they can do, but then with our app, we allow you to control a lot of your own things, you oh. know, and that's, that's the cool thing about the app. And so this app is free, and it works with our routers, like we had mentioned. And there are certain there's certain tiers that you can go with. And if you are interested, um, you can, like I said, if you go with that second, second, third, and fourth packages with our internet, that's included. But if you want some more, you can certainly do that. Uh, it's just the cost is about five ninety nine, six dollars, right around there. And you can certainly just give us a call, and we can walk you through those options. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it, and a lot of uh, safety measures for your family and your young family as mm -hmm. well. And quick update on some events we have coming up. On the 25th and 26th, we have Trunk or Treat, uh, one in Litchfield, one in Painesville. So if you have some kiddos or you just want to dress up and come get candy, you can definitely come out and see us. And then we have the last uh, Dreaming of Streaming event of the year. It's going to be November 5th. So if you have uh, questions on streaming or have some family members that are maybe looking to cut the cord, just you know, invite them to the November 5th event. And we'll, uh, as it gets closer, we'll be mentioning that a little bit more as well. And if you have just basic questions on any of this or on our internet, you can give us a call at 693-3231 or go to our website, vibrantbroadband.com, and we post these on our Facebook and YouTube channel. Um, and you can also listen here live on KLFD at uh, 1030 every Wednesday. All right. Well, thank you, Jeff, for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, audience, for listening. My name is Shane. I'm Jane. And I'm Bo. Tune in next week for another Vibrant You Live.
affiliate speed with vibrant service. Vibrant broadband internet. Vibrant broadband internet. 